بركاته مرحبا بكم في امسيه جديده من امسيات منبر الباحثين السودانيين في في محيط اعتصام القياده العامه سقطت ما سقطت صابنا سقطت ما سقطت صابنا الليل الكهرباء قاطعه وبالتالي قطعت ما قطعت صابنا آه اليوم يشرفنا انه يكون معنا الاساتذه المتطوعين استاذ عبد المنعم والاستاذ ويلي وحيواصلوا في البرنامج بتاعهم لانه ده التزام كوميتمنت والليل حيتكلموا عن الكرت سيتويشن في السودان فمشكورين اخواننا الرحيب بهم شكرا لكم الحضور الملتزم برضو Thank you so much. Assalamu uh, alaikum. Good evening, everybody. For the people who are around here and for the people who are watching us right now, you know, you see, and the the is off. But we're gonna continue because, as Dr. Anwar said, this is a commitment. And this is what we do, and our, our revolution even is about commitment. Okay, if we don't have or we don't just commit, that will be a main sign of uh, unseriousness. So we're gonna continue on the same path. Uh, what happened yesterday and today, this is our topic today. Why are they using violence? Why are they, why do they keep killing us? Although we are innocent and we are peaceful, so what is the message that they try to send for us? Any message that they try, they are trying to deliver for us, we never give up. We continue. We do continue. Never, uh, not, not, not everything, okay? There will be nothing to stop us. We're gonna continue on the same path. And this is our commitment. Our great condolences for those who lost their lives yesterday and today. And may God have mercy upon their souls and keep their families safe. And thank you. I'm going to give the chance for Mr. Abdul Munam. So, uh, thank you for being with us here today. And thank you for online viewers. Really, we are really happy to have you today. So as teacher Walid mentioned that today, we are going to talk about the current situation and uh, what's going on in Sudan uh, here. So yesterday we talked about a very controversial topic and we talked about um, uh, Sudan foreign policy and how to prevent uh, foreign intervention in the Sudan. So today also we have a very relevant topic and that's about the current situation in the Sudan. So really before I start, I would like to send a very sincere condolences for the victims and people who were killed yesterday, especially a pregnant woman, a woman who was killed by, by let's say unidentified person. Uh, till now we don't know what happened exactly and sadly also today very early in the morning um, a guy uh, shot uh, and uh, killed really very sad and tragic news uh, since morning time so the question is why are they doing this um, we do expect that the negotiation between transitional military council and the forces of change and freedom will resume soon and uh, there is a clear indication that they are going to uh, reach a deal. But we don't know why there is some conflicts and a lot of protesters and, uh, and uh, guys here are being killed. So these are the questions that we have. I don't want to too, too long with you. Uh, I'm going to pass the mic to my friend Walid so as to open chances for you to participate with us. So it is really lucky the weather is very uh, nice today and uh, it's rainy and uh, welcome. So, get you all in. Yeah. Thank you so much. You see the, the wind, but we're, we're not gonna stop. So we're gonna continue. Sabina. Sabina. Um, my point is, why do they keep killing us why do they continue uh, using violence what is the message that they want to send for us 
So this is the question for today. If you'd like to speak, just come over here and share us. Yeah? Okay. Give him okay. the mic. Well, I don't understand. Okay, okay, because you've come late. So, Mr. Abdulaziz, we're talking about what happened yesterday mm. and today. Why are they continuing killing us? Why do they keep using violence, although we are peaceful? What is the message that they want to send for us? So, what do you think?